My boss scheduled me for days I'm not supposed to work with no notice. What do I even do here? My boss randomly told me by the way. You're scheduled for every day you're off this week and off every day you are scheduled I have three days off a week. Because school because a co-worker took the week off. He didn't ask me. When I told him I couldn't he said you'd better give me an actual reason and told me that. Schedule changes are just life and that school and existing plans come second. I'm literally losing money because I am off clock the moment I'm unneeded and the days I don't work are all slow. I don't know what I do. I really don't want to get fired. But I literally had zero notice. He told me this just as I was exiting the building. What do I even do here? Edit OMG up votes are going crazy. I told him I caught a bug and am skipping that week. I put together why he needed me so bad for that week. Turns out a co-worker's mom died and they lost him for the whole week. Which jeopardized operation. Or at least that's what my co-worker says. Turns out my boss had a minor whoopsie about two years ago and because of his whoopsie for Halloween. Season scheduling and this guy missing work. It massively screwed up how the company runs and he has to rewrite about two years of tax and record. Keeping paperwork. Which is why he couldn't work and why he was a bit sudden and forced about it. Now I feel kinda bad for him. I only had to work the days I'd normally have off. Not the entire week. Maybe I should have been more clear. If you put work over school, you'll always work for people like this. Your future is more important than any job. Go to school. I had a pizza delivery job try to pull that shit on me. I grabbed the stupid roof sign off my car. Handed it to the manager and said I don't even like school. But you don't get to tell me what my priorities are and walked out. Your boss knows you're in school and still has this attitude? Fuck that. Start looking elsewhere. School takes priority. If I make work a priority I might end up like you. Although this will probably get you fired. My education is paramount. And my scheduled availability is non-negotiable. I made my availability clear when hired. I cannot make the schedule posted. Sorry for the inconvenience. And leave it at that. Regardless what grade you're in. School should come first you aren't just taking classes while working full-time plus a part-time job. Right? Just because work is primary for your boss. That doesn't make it primary for you. Or anyone else who works there. Tell your boss that you can't work because school is primary for you. He needs to figure out how to cover for the employee who is off. School is working towards a career. This is just a job. I won't be in. Boss is taking advantage and trying to strong arm you. Just tell the guy you have prior engagements and that you aren't available. MFER doesn't need any excuse. School absolutely doesn't come second. Tell him you would love to be flexible but can't work due to previous obligations. Two thoughts. If you've worked there long enough. And get fired. File for unemployment. They can't change your agreed upon schedule and then say you quit. And if you're feeling brave. Make a media complaint. Especially if you have texts to prove it. If you don't try and get them. Just lead off with a confirming my schedule as you know I have class on these days. I had this problem when I was younger. Inform him this I'd my availability. We agreed on those hours when I was hired. Those are the only hours where I can work. If they push back say you can fire me if you need to. This is when I am available because you can get unemployment if they fire you but not if you quit. Don't let them convince you to quit. It is amazing that it is always the managers of some retail fast food restaurant that act like their business is a Fortune 500 company. Working there is an opportunity afforded to select few. And the minimum wage they offer is CEO pay.
One, your education is more important. Do that. Two, check your local laws around scheduling. It's likely your employer must have a posted schedule one week in advance. You are not obligated to come in on notice shorter than what the law requires. If you get fired over it, sue for wrongful termination. Told me that schedule changes are just life and that school and existing plans come second. Goddamn clown. If you're in school, am I right to assume you live with parents or a dorm that's already been paid for? If you really don't need this job to survive, just don't go. This is the moment you stand up for yourself and start building a boundary for yourself. If you let this guy run over you you'll never lean to stand up for yourself. I say this, because I have been in this position before. This is also a lesson his ass needs to learn. I provided my availability and you clearly ignored it. That doesn't suddenly make me available. As I am unavailable I will not be coming in on days X. Y. And Z. If something special comes up where you'd like me to cover shifts outside of that availability in the future feel free to contact me and with enough heads up, I may be able to rearrange things to help you out. However, that will not be possible this time. School comes second is the dumbest take anyone has ever had. Okay boss person, clearly it wasn't important to you, but other people might want to better themselves. It goes family school work. You cannot concede on this. School and existing plans come second when it benefits him. What a dunce. That guy probably got slapped with the a stupid stick in life. Go to school there's always other opportunities for work. Otherwise he'll keep pulling that bullshit. If you get fired, make sure you have proof for unemployment. When I was in school, it waived my job search requirements then so I got paid not that it was a ton but either way. Tell the boss he knew your availability when you were hired and you're not coming in those days. Then, go to school. If he fires you, file for unemployment. Should be an easy constructive dismissal filing. Go to school. That should always be the priority. You will have the rest of your entire life to work. Leave that job. School always comes first you are paying for your school. School is expensive. Is he paying for your schooling? My guess is no then he can't dictate what you do with school that was an agreement. School isn't a pre-existing plan. School is your second job that you are paying for. Treat it as such you can't reschedule at the drop of a hat. I had a boss in a shitty retail job tell my my job needed to be prioritized over school. I just sort of laughed. I mean, good luck with that. School was literally my ticket out of retail. And they had a lot of students working there. Let me tell you how many students are going to prioritize their low-wage jobs over the college they are paying a great deal of money to attend zero. Tell him your school is just part of life and you'll not be there. Your schooling will build a career worth way more that one. School comes first his lack of planning is not your problem. Your boss, like way too many others, suffers from the idea that their underlings are basically slaves whose lives and plans are inconsequential to the needs of the business. He probably also talks about the team being a family, and your obligations to your co-workers as tools to manipulate you into feeling guilty. We are workers need to learn when we are being gamed or treated like lower class citizens. I have a personal policy to never miss a day of class. For any reason, I don't even hesitate to take a day off for school. I haven't seen someone say this but you mentioned being off clock the moment you're unneeded. Being required to be on site for a job being paid or it's illegal stand up for your rights. He can't tell you to wait around for more work without paying you even if there's nothing to do. You feel bad for him? Why? He doesn't deserve your sympathy he's stealing money from you when he has you clock out at work. Which is illegal and he doesn't respect your availability.